So, massive shout out to Samuel of the Morning Sun for this absolutely wonderful character swap mod that's been made. And also shout out to S and Sonic Overtime for, uh, uh, S for linking it in Discord, Sonic Overtime for making a video covering it. Because now here we are uh, with a character swap mod that is available for everybody. Um, I have a command, exclamation mark swap in the chat to a link to his video. And on YouTube, I'll have a link in the description. This is an assembly C sharp mod. So if you do not know how to install assembly C sharp mods, I'm going to have a link right up top here uh, to my video. Um, that video was in the shadow release, but installing it is quite literally the exact same way here in the silver release as it was in the shadow release. So we're going to go ahead and do it uh do it that way now this mod we're gonna go ahead and jump into the test stage um isn't just a character swap mod actually something that's really cool is in the description of samuel's video is there are two different versions of this mod one with just the character swapping and another one with like all the extra features he wanted to add so uh, basically, all of the, like, extra features that were added were added to Sonic, Shadow, and Silver, which is going to be really cool here. To start off, LT on the Xbox gamepad, I would imagine it's R2, is going to be your best friend with this mod if you have the full version installed. Uh, what is going to happen is uh, you'll see the ring counter in the top left there. It'll probably adjust between 50 and 100. If the ring counter says 100... Then with Sonic, Shadow, and Silver specifically, you will have infinite action gauge meter. All your gems for Sonic will be leveled up to level 3. And you'll have infinite rings, which is really, really cool. Cool for like debugging, cheating, playing around, all that kind of stuff. Additionally, if we go ahead and use the rainbow gem here and transform into Super Sonic. They have infinite rings, so I'm not worried about it. We have a new move we can do with him. So, because we have infinite action gauge, we don't have to worry about that. But if we jump and use Sonic's light arrow, we can actually fly, which is really, really cool. Um, you can use the, I believe it's the Y button to ascend, and then you can use the B button to descend with Sonic. And if you just want to jump out of flight, you can go ahead and jump out of flight just with the jump button, just like that. Or if you run into the ground or something somewhere, you, uh, you will also be knocked out of flight as well. It's a really cool ability for Super Sonic to have. I believe this is doable without the, uh, yep. So this is active without the, uh, infinite cheat on. But, uh, you know, just for the sake of demonstration, it's probably fun to have the infinite cheat on. Anyway. So, pretty freaking cool. Um, you can continue to do light arrow attacks if, uh, you're just not moving fast enough. But something that was in the Project 06 Extended mod, if any of you were big fans of that in the Shadow release, is that Super Sonic in this mod has the ability to use the gems, which is really, really cool. You don't have to be airborne in order to use them. You can use the gems just like uh, if regular Sonic were to normally have them, which is, uh, which is really, really interesting. Now, the thing is, is it's kind of cool because while you have the gems active, you cannot do Super Sonic's light arrow attack unless the rainbow gem is active. It seems very OP. Oh, it is absolutely very OP. Also, what's up, Kimchi? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. It is extremely OP, but I also think it's kind of cool that you have to have at least the rainbow gem equipped to start the flight, but you can also use the gems in the air if you want, which is uh, honestly just kind of hilarious. Um, <laughs> and absolutely broken and overpowered. Again, you can use all of the gems. There's no limit. I don't know how the yellow gem works. Okay, it looks like we still, uh, we still get the thunder shield, even though it doesn't really matter because we're supersonic, we're invincible, and we draw in rings as supersonic anyway. So, uh, yeah, there's that. And that's Sonic in, uh, in this mod. Very, very cool stuff. If we press D-pad up, we are going to cycle through characters. Silver here. Uh, what we can do is if we press LT, you're automatically given all of his upgrades, uh, which is really cool. So if you don't feel like collecting his upgrades, then uh, you can just press LT. You have infinite meter, which kind of makes the Lotus of Resilience not uh, like the like not as useful because, I mean, regardless, we're able to teleport dash infinitely or hover infinitely or hold as many uh, psychokinesis objects as we want, since we have infinite meter, uh, which is kind of fun. Um, 
But one thing I do want to make note of is that while uh, since D-pad up, kind of an interesting binding. I'm not su I'm surprised that he didn't just bind it to D-pad down, so there wasn't any uh, heat like uh, input conflicts. But in order to go ESP mode, it's D-pad right instead. And I believe on PlayStation and on PC, it is the exact same um, input. So whatever D-pad right is on the keyboard, you can do that. Um, so we have infinite ESP mode. Uh, no like new moves as far as I can tell is what Silver, uh, Silver can do when he has infinite ESP mode and stuff. But still really cool. And of course, because we have infinite rings and stuff, we are uh, invincible. Moving on to Shadow, uh, if we have the infinite thing active, uh, we can automatically go to Chaos Boost level three just by pressing RT once, which is really, really nice. And if we wanna go uninhibited, we press Y. Again, I assume this was done to avoid input conflicts. Uh, so yeah, here we are, we're invincible. I also believe you ignore kill planes. Uh, while you have like the LT cheat active, so you can see how my bar is depleting, press LT again, everything's infinite. I believe in this mode you can skip kill plane, so if you want to go into wave ocean and run around uh, underneath <laughs> uh, the water there, because uh, you can't, you know, glitch through it anymore like we could in the shadow release, uh, you can do that now, which is really, really cool. The amigos do not have anything with the infinite lives cheat. Now we have the rings. But uh, regardless of what amigo you play as, uh, you have no cheats with them. So when we do our character swap runs, we're literally just going to be using uh, the amigo, which is really, really cool. We'll do Tropical Jungle in Silver Story with Blaze. So top right into it. So we're just going to go ahead and switch over to Blaze. If I can find her. There she is. And uh, let's go ahead and play some Tropical Jungle. So uh, we're going to be seeing this because we will be playing as Blaze in Silver Story. Um, but uh, still really cool. I guess as a preemptive, we can kind of figure out a route here. Uh, it's finally really cool to have a publicly available version for everyone to play, um, uh, to play with the character swap mod as. Because I know a lot of people really wanted to play as Amy and Blaze in a bunch of the... Uh, in a bunch of the other stages outside of their normal sections, so it's gonna be really really cool to uh, To actually experience that at least I hope for a lot of people to experience that but Yeah, we can't activate any runes or anything so we got to use our triple jump and uh, The dolphin dive homing attack here in order to get ourselves to the end and uh, There we go. It's <laughs> that easy a very short stage now uh, Silver's results screen is uh, supposed to be uh, Silver's supposed to face to the left, so when characters have their victory animation, the camera looks a little bit wonky. But uh, it's very, 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 very cool. Moving on here, uh, we are going to do Amy in Sonic's Flame Core, uh, which will definitely be interesting. A little bit longer of a stage, but I think will be really fun with Amy. Uh, so I believe, yep, we can just break out of the automation here and swap right on over to Amy. Now, unfortunately, in stages with multiple sections, you are going to have to uh, change characters like multiple times when you enter a new section because that's just how uh, PO6 loads things. But uh, yeah, so here we go. We don't get any light dashes or anything, so we're going to have to make really good use of our hammer jump here. Uh, so that way we can preserve our double jump as well as uh, do a bunch of hammer swinging. Which apparently you can't do when you're running on the side of walls. Kind of interesting that, uh... Oop, didn't mean to double jump there. Uh... The double jump will definitely be interesting, uh... Uh, with this play style here. <laughs> but yeah, really, really cool. Amy Best Hedgehog. Uh, Amy is extremely fun to play as in the Silver release. I know a lot of people are like, Oh, she's just a lesser version of Blaze. Which is true. Which is true. But um, I think one thing that's really uniquely cool about Amy is her uh, her hammer swing here. Um, because she's able to, like, preserve her double jump when she bounces off of enemies. I mean, I guess technically Blaze can do it too. If you just dolphin dive an enemy, she'll be able to... Um, she'll be able just to do another double jump. But I don't believe she gets uh, a triple jump like she does. Are any stages impossible with certain characters? Absolutely. As far as I know, in this mod, this mod does not program any character that, uh, 
isn't able to wall jump, like do the chain jumps, like in Sonic's Wave Ocean Mock Speed, uh, to wall jump, water slide, or grab vines. So like Sonic's Tropical Jungle is impossible to do with like Amy and Blaze and stuff like that. Uh, just because they're not programmed to be able to interact with those objects. But uh, yeah, so very, very cool stuff. Oh, we can actually use the hammer spin here. Kind of kind of forgot this was an ability because we don't use it in the speed run at all. But uh, very, very cool to finally play as uh, Amy in a stage that isn't uh, over in 30 seconds, which is really cool. Plays are not still best hedgehog. Yo, let's go. I think Amy is really, really cool. It's kind of a shame, I guess, that in both uh, in bo in Silver Story, both of the amigos are fairly similar. But also, to be fair, Knuckles and Tails are pretty similar in their abilities as well. I think Amy and Blaze are a lot closer to each other than uh, than like Tails and Knuckles and the like are. Rouge and Omega are pretty different from each other, though. Um, but generally, it seems that extra characters have some sort of flight attached to them to make them stand out uniquely from Sonic. Um, Blaze and Amy definitely require the most strategy, though, in terms of that, which is really, really cool. Silver's Crisis City is Sonic. That would be interesting. We'll go ahead and do that one, and then we'll do one more as well. I just know people really wanted to see Amy and Blaze, so I wanted to take suggestions for those first. Um, doesn't look like the speed shoes really help us out all that much with Amy, but, uh, not the worst. Well, sounding very masculine there, pal. It's impossible. It's impossible. Um, well, we'll see about that. <laughs> we do have the infinite code if we press LT, so we can definitely try it out. Come on, Amy. Do... Cool that we got to uh, play a really long stage with Amy, just because uh, she's barely featured in the game as a whole. I definitely agree with Pariah's video. Only one stage without mods is a little sad. Yeah, that's the thing is that Project 06 makes the character so fun to play as that because this is 06, it's, uh, it's super lame that we don't get to play as them everywhere. I'm curious to see if Amy can actually hit the orbs here. I would imagine not. Oh, she can. That's cool. Yeah, it's kind of hit or miss whether what uh, objects the characters are interactable with. Been taking puberty pills. Interesting. I didn't know uh, puberty uh, made your voice go lower when you're female. Been in more used gameplay wise for OG06. I am so thankful that Amy is only used as much as she is in OG06 because she's terrible there. Um. But yeah, absolutely Project 06 Amy is really cool. Now, there is, this is just a rumor, not outright confirmed. But if you are familiar with the mod Legacy of Solaris for Retail 06, which is a mod I do plan on covering on the channel soon, there's just a lot I want to get done with the PO6 Silver release before we, uh, you know, kind of sidetrack into other things. Um, Jotaro, the lead developer of that project, uh, which was recently completed, by the way, he stopped developing it. Um, I think like two or so weeks ago at the time of this, uh, at the time of the stream slash video, uh, whenever you're watching it, um, he plans on porting the stages, uh, all of the extra stages, like all of the Amigo character stuff, uh, into PO6. Again, I don't know if it's true, but maybe, which would be really cool. The extra stages of Lelos would help do these characters justice. I agree, because I think the level design is pretty good. Um, plus, Amy, kind of interestingly, other than the hammer jump, she functions pretty much exactly the same in Legacy of Solaris as she does here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do Sonic in Silver's Crisis City just to see what sort of uh, shenanigans we can get up to here. So let's go ahead, Silver. And I'm going to attempt to use the... Uh, cheat if you press LT as little as possible. Um, so we're just gonna roll with it. There's Sonic. Hey, we get Sonic and Blaze. Unfortunately, switching characters makes the Amigo not uh, follow you, but... All right, here we go. Uh, we definitely want to level up our gems as much as we can. Uh, purple gem is probably going to be extremely useful here. Um, uh, Sky gem will also be useful. Yo, nice. Uh, Sky? No, dang. <laughs> no, I'm just bad. 
the Rush duo has returned. Would have been interesting to have a co-op stage with both uh, Blaze and Sonic. That's the tough part though, right? Is that Blaze and Sonic, if they were together in any capacity, literally nothing would be a threat. So it's uh, kind, of, kind of interesting that especially in 06's story that they never interact with each other once. All right. Uh, I imagine we won't be able to light dash on anything because the light dash is not character dependent. It's actually dependent on the line of rings themselves. And because obviously Sonic is not normally playable here, uh, we probably won't be able to uh, do that. Now, we did hit a checkpoint. So it makes me wonder if, uh, if I go back here, if we can do something a little cheeky here. Let's see. I imagine this is going to be too far, but I want to try it. Two, three. Oh my goodness, the gems are so broken. <laughs> oh, I love it. Now, I also imagine we'll be able to do something like this, and this will get us up here. Okay, or the sky gems is going to spike us down. Uh, basically, it's a grab bag if the sky gem spikes you up or down. So let's see if we can get a spike up. Nice. Let's go. Yes, the cheese. The Sky Gem cheese. Oh, man. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Just got to be creative with your gem usage. Now, obviously, regular Sonic would not be able to do all of this stuff. The gems are definitely our saving grace here. But, uh, yeah. Now we're headed into Blaze's part. Uh, which is really cool. Uh, let's go ahead and switch on over to Sonic here. And down we go. Now, unfortunately, our gems are reset. But, uh, you know, we'll see what's going on here. Yo, what's up, Dr. Bonson? How you doing? <laughs> Well, am I not surprised? Obsessed with my internet? No, it's me. My internet's still, uh, messed up. I'm curious what these people are coming out here are actually doing. If they're actually doing anything. Alright, now we got level 3. Thankfully, this, uh, was made for Blaze, so Sonic translates quite well into this level design. Do do. Do, 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 do. All right, here we go. We actually have our our gem level saved, which is neat. Um, but let's go ahead and get to the end here. Sonic's just a little bit fast <laughs> when it comes to this stuff. But there we go. There was Sonic in Silver's Crisis City. Absolutely incredible stuff there. Alrighty, and that was just kind of it for the initial showcase of the character swap mod. Very, very cool stuff. I especially like the addition of the extra features um, that Samuel put in. But once again, huge shout out to Samuel the Morning Sun for making this mod. Sonic Overtime for uh, <laughs> kind of distributing it, making it, making it well known. And uh, of course, our very own S for uh, making me aware that it exists.